know people have been asking about the critters. I love our critters. We just did a couple live events and talking to folks. And they said, how's Junior, how's Holly, how's Maybell. Maybell, and all the sheep. So you know what? It's time to check in. Now, if you remember back, Maybell lost her calf. Right. And we have black vultures around here. So we went and got us a calf. Right. A Jersey calf. Now that's a, that's a task to bring a mother and a calf that's not theirs together. There's right. a little bit of work involved. We should have videoed that. We actually had to take and put some rope around her back legs. Not because it wasn't her. cruel, right. but she had, that baby wanted milk so bad. But <laughs> once, you call him, what do you call him? Jersey boy, JV. Jersey boy, you say you can't name your animals that you eat. I totally disagree. He's what he is, he's a Jersey boy. When I boy. grew up as a kid, <laughs> these old time farmers, they knew when they were eating Bessie right. Burgers. That's right. Bessie Burgers were on the table, <laughs> you knew it. I mean, that's, that's right. something that's come about here recently. It is what it is. Right. But Junior's getting big. Yes, he is, he's big. And again, only, we're talking only 700 pounds maximum. Right. And we're gonna get snacks and treats today. Holly is our protector. That's right. Actually, Kelly wanted a donkey. Right. She wanted a miniature donkey, so you gotta do what you gotta do. It's her birthday, we got the donkey. And we always Remember know when that? Kelly pulls in. They when donkey Kelly screens. pulls in, and we'll, we'll show you here in a minute what happens. <laughs> I don't think they know we're here yet. No. So we're gonna, we're gonna show you what happens when Kelly comes in the driveway. So, Junior's getting big, won't be right. too long. Maybell, she's just chilling. Holly is happy. Just precious. And then we'll go over and see the sheep and the dogs. Now the dogs are getting their winter coat. It just rained, mm -hmm. so Moses looks like he's been dipped in chocolate. <laughs> he looks awful. But they're getting their winter oh, coats. He's always cute. They're all fuzzy, they're all happy. They love this cool weather. How about as Mendez? Do we. Mendez and Milty. Mendez and Milty are happy. That's right. They're eating hay, they're mm -hmm. getting ready for winter. So anyway, let's go uh, do your little call, girls. Both of you go ahead and listen. Holly, girl. As you can see, everybody's doing well. Everybody's getting their winter coats. Now, remember we talked about these sheep being hair sheep. They're katahdin. What does that mean? That does not mean that we shear these sheep. That means that they shed. If they are hair sheep, it sounds kind of backwards, they actually shed their hair in the spring. That's their winter coat. They're getting nice and thick. As you can see, Mendez is doing well. He's doing really good. Milton is kind of adjusting to having another. He wants you to feed him. Oh, he wants some. Spoiled rotten. Yes, they are. Now these are old grannies. They're gonna live on the farm until they go to the happy <laughs> sheep farm. They're gonna die of old age on the farm, as will, as will these two cats. I was checking on the bees today. Okay. And then I was checking for deer sign, because it's time for some venison. And I saw some mushrooms on the ground. Now, not too long ago, we were up in the mountains. We were in uh, Virginia. That's right. Around the Shenandoah River up, up in that area. We were driving along the Blue Ridge Parkway and I saw something orange in the woods. How you see stuff, I'll never know. It was like the sun was shining, <laughs> yeah. it was perfect. Well, that was a big jack-o'-lantern. Mm -hmm. They kind of grow together and there's different, there's some big ones, there's some small ones. Here's a picture of some small ones I found right over by the tree. Now you also see a picture of me turning upside down. They have gills, movable gills. Yeah. If you take up the end of a pin, you can move that gill. So that's bad. That's bad. Okay. So I looked down. I've never found these on our place before. Now typically in the fall, in the early fall, you can find some chanterelles, you can find hen of the woods and things like that. Now listen, it's up to you to key your mushrooms out. Right. Not me. That's right. If you say, <laughs> I saw Tim Farmer say this, there are so many variables out there. It's not up to me, it's up to you. Well, I saw him eat this, and I saw him eat that. And then you feed it to your family and they all end up waking up dead. <laughs> That's I, not nice. I, so I didn't do That's it. That's not nice. I didn't do it. You have to keep your own mushrooms up. So I started looking at these and I started looking it up and I've heard of lobster mushrooms Never as opposed heard of to that. oyster. Really? These have the consistency and the smell, they even smell like lobster. So I, I picked them up, I thought, I hope that's what they are. They have the fake gills, not yeah. the real gills. They kind of look like lobster meat. All right. And Smells. I'll be daggone. Here's one that was kind of, the deer been chewing on it. 
Smell that. That's really crazy, isn't it? It does smell like lobster meat. It smells smell like lobster meat. <laughs> so, never found any morels on this particular farm. We go right down the road, mm -hmm. five minutes, they're everywhere. And that's a funny thing about morels. That's a springtime deal. Right. That's probably my favorite. But these, I am so anxious to try these. Now we get puffballs. We get puffballs. Puff balls. Now, we saw one as we were leaving the other day. Right. If you're ever walking through the woods and you see in the distance, you wonder how that soccer ball got here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's probably a puff ball. It's gotta now, get it right away, right? You gotta get yeah. it right away. Because in a course of two or three days, we saw it driving down the road, we forgot about it, went to check on it today. It's already yeah. brown with a hole in it. Yeah. Now they'll eventually dry out and when you that's why you call them puffballs. As okay. a kid, we'd step on them and these, they just oh, all right. this brown stuff would poof out. So we have lobster mushrooms. How about that? Yummy. I want to try them. But look what happens when you break into them. See how white yeah. they are? And see how that almost looks like cut up lobster meat? This I've never found out on my, on my farm. Been up here every year and have never seen these. And here they are this year. It's in late fall after the rain. Looky there. <laughs> 